Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast, a podcast where we have conversations on how Black women navigate through life and education. I'm your host, Makita Marine. I'm a life coach and strategic consultant. In this safe space and in this podcast, we have conversations on how we balance and navigate through life, education, corporate America, entrepreneurship, motherhood, love, just so many topics. It's just endless. Please join us for the Black Educated Tea Podcast so you can be a part of these magnificent conversations. Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Makita Marie, and today's topic is about body image for Black women in the workplace. But, you know, as always, before we get into the tea, let's get into the tea. So I am drinking an 11 11 tea. So as you know, uh, 11, 11, or you know, 111 are angel numbers. And so I am drinking an 11, 11 tea, really, really good tea by Oasis Vibe, of course. Tea is really good. And it also is really sweet. Well, I'm not going to say really sweet, but it is sweet. Um, I absolutely love it. It has peppermint, it has licorice, it has cinnamon in it. It has a couple of different properties as well. So 11-11 tea. You can drink this tea anytime you want to. So it's a really good afternoon tea. Um, if you want to drink it at 11-11 a.m., you know, kind of that brunch time right before lunch. Or you can drink it at 11-11 at night whenever you want to drink it. If you even want to drink it at 5 o'clock. Um, at night, if you want to drink it at 12 p.m., whatever time you want to drink it. But the 1111 really just represents that abundance. It represents those angel numbers because we're all trying to be abundant right now. So really, really good tea has a lot of good benefits as well about Aces Vibe. So let's go ahead and get into the topic about body image for black women in the workplace. I have definitely um, been through this in several jobs that I've had. And I used to be, you know, smaller, of course. Um, You know, got a little older, put on a little weight in good ways, I will say. Um, Because I'm definitely maintaining. Toot my own horn there. (laughs) But I remember uh, probably about 11, 12 years ago, and I was working at a particular job. I was working at a school, actually, and I would never forget. I had on like a sweater dress. And I had on some tights under it, but when I say the sweater dress is, was so long, because I'm short, you know, I'm not tall at all. So the, the sweater dress probably would have been really short on someone that has some height, but, you know, me not having much height, the sweater dress was really long, and I had on these really thick tights under it. I'll never forget. And this was winter time, so I was just trying to stay warm. And I got called to the office like one of the students and was asked to leave to go change my outfit because they felt like it was inappropriate. And that was the start of of many because I didn't necessarily have that same call um, to the office or conversation where I was told to leave um, and change it to something they felt like was more appropriate, but I still got the stares or I still got the feelings or I still had certain conversations about my outfits or my attire. And first off, I can't leave my butt at home. I mean, I just, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't leave my shape at home. Um, and I do not dress inappropriate at all. I wear things that are comfortable for me. And just because things may fit me, a little bit more does not mean that it's inappropriate. Um, but I really, for me, that was really hurtful. That was really hurtful because, I mean, let's let's be real. There are certain things that we can wear as black women and some of our counterparts can wear the same exact thing. And, you know, we're looked at a certain way or it's not so pleasing uh, when we wear it. Um, I just have to just throw that out there. And it has happened in several jobs. You know, if I wear a cute little dress, you know, really long dress, I still get the stares or I still get the comments or, you know, certain things that I I feel like is inappropriate because I'm just trying to be comfortable. I'm just trying to wear something I think that looks really nice to me. And it causes a stir or it causes conversations that should not be happening in the first place. Um, Because there is a difference between me just wanting to look professional, look nice, and things may just fit me a certain way. 
than if I'm just coming into the workplace very inappropriate. And I think it's probably more inappropriate if I come in there and my clothes are wrinkled and earned and, and holy, you know, <laughs> than if I just have something that's fitted. But that's just my opinion. But I've had that in, in several jobs. And I've had conversation with other women as well, and these things happen to them. And it's like, hey, I can just go to the store and get a pair of slacks, and they may fit me a certain way. And then when I wear them to work, you know, I get the inappropriate stares or I get the inappropriate conversations or, you know, you get the emails. And I've had this where you get the emails and they send it out to everybody saying, hey, be mindful on your attire and things that you're wearing. And so I'm looking around like, you know, who else are they obviously talking to but me? And it's like, but I'm not dressed inappropriate. I just cannot help that things may fit me a certain way or may look a certain way on me. And it's really unfortunate for us that that has to even be a conversation. That certain things that we wear just because they fit us a certain way or they look like this on us, that it is even a topic of, you know, conversation. But I have heard these conversations and I have been a part of these conversations. And just to think that this happened over 10 years ago, I was like 110 pounds. I'm like, how much am I really showing? How much is really being revealed at this, you know, really small, really short. And like I said, it was just a sweater dress. It was a, I'm not going to say it was loose fitting because it was a sweater dress and, but it wasn't tight. And I had on these thick tights under it. I'm like, why is this even a conversation? But you know, another thing that made it even worse was the fact that it came from another black lady. Now, that's what really was disheartening for me. And it's like, you know, here I am. I'm actually coming into the workplace, you know, thinking I look professional, but also just trying to be comfortable as well. And then I get this from another black lady that should have been mentoring me, that should have been, you know, influencing me or... Instead of, you know, coming to me in that particular way. Because there was absolutely nothing wrong with my outfit for that conversation to come up. But this happens to come up a lot more than it should. Because if it's not about our attire, it's about our hair. So there's always different conversations that come up for us as black women in the workplace. I just wanted to take this particular um, episode and talk about body image in the workplace. Why is our body... um, so much of a topic in the workplace, the things we wear and how we look. And why is that even a topic when other people are clearly wearing the same thing, if not worse, but those conversations are not being had. And it's it's really unfortunate that I had to endure that. And, And still, and that may have been one of the most extreme cases, but I've still had other cases where it was just those subliminal messages that were sent out or the, you know, subliminal looks and stares or, you know, different comments that made me very aware, like, there is really back conversation going on about my outfit or what I have on, and it's not inappropriate at all. Because like I said before, I, I, if I could just, you know, take my head and <laughs> put on another body and go to work, okay, but I, I, you know, I can't do that. So this is me, the whole package, all of this is me. This is how I present myself. This is how I go into the workplace. And like I say, I am a um, very casual person, but professional person as well. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not coming out the house um, with anything on that's inappropriate. I just put on things that's, you know, comfortable for me. But I also want to look a certain way when I leave my home. So I'm never to the point that anything I put on is not going to be suitable for the workplace. But it's unfortunate that these things happen. And, you know, it makes you wonder, like, is it more jealousy? Um, You know, these are things I've always wondered. Like, is it more of a jealousy thing um, that this conversation is even coming up? Um, I don't know. I still don't honestly know uh, what it may be. And at this point, I don't even care. I don't care because I I still wear what I want to wear and I'm comfortable in my own skin. And like I said, I respect myself enough that I'm not going to put on anything that's going to make me uncomfortable. And so I don't like to be approached that way. Um, But I put on what I'm comfortable in, what I really, you know, think that looks nice. And I'm going to continue to do that regardless. Um, And so, but that was a very unfortunate event that happened, 
definitely years ago, but it still continues to happen. Just not that openly, but it still does continue to happen. And it's like, okay, you know, whatever. I'm here to do a job. I'm here to do my work and do the very best I can with my job and my attire, my body image. None of that has anything to do with me coming in here to do a job and do a a good one at that. And so I just really would love to hear your comments and any stories that you may have had where you know that your body image has been affected in the workplace. Um, Has there been those back conversation? Has it been those um, experiences or uh, situations where you've, you know, had to go speak to someone because they felt like what you had on was just totally inappropriate? And when you know deep down it's not, it's like what I have on is not inappropriate. And you know it, but there's just more to the story. You know, you definitely know that there's more to it. So have you had those experiences, you know, which are very unfortunate for us because they probably happen to us more as black women than a